All right. Hey everyone, my name is Notlad and welcome to a very special trailer which I am actually super psyched about and I hope you guys are too because um it, it's finally coming out and I'm so thrilled. You don't know what I'm talking about yet but uh, without further ado, I'm going to throw it up on the screen. Uh, this trailer was just released uh, like uh, I think four days ago. Um, I'm a little late to it, um, and I, I should have been on it a little bit sooner, but still, nonetheless, we get it on the channel, so I just thought I'd show you guys this trailer so you guys can get as psyched as I am for it, but without further ado, here we go. I'm so excited. Oh, you know what it is. I remember my first day down here. I do, too. <laughs> it was awesome. Uh, I know. It's scary. Keep moving, and stay close to the shadows. Yes. Oh, Above dude. everything else. Oh, that's so sick. Stay away from the ink demon. Alice. He kills anything that moves. Dang. 2020, everybody. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> nice. Oh, what is that? Oh, what was that? Oh, dude. Yes! Oh, dude, I am so excited. No joke, I am so excited. Okay, I'm just gonna stop that, but... Oh, okay. I don't know if you're as psyched as I am, but playing through the first game was amazing. I love Bendy and the Ink Machine with a fiery passion. It is one of my favorite games by far. And it was so awesome getting to play through it. And I know although I was a little bit late to it, it still was awesome. And knowing that they're coming out with the new uh, Bendy and the Dark Revival is so cool. And I am ecstatic. I, I cannot, I can't contain my excitement. Literally, we just got this trailer telling us that we're going to have a game in 2020. When exactly, I'm not sure, but it is for sure we're going to get it in 2020. And um, just knowing this game, I definitely want to be one of the first people to play it, if I can. Um, I'm going to try to keep tabs on it. Um, being that the development team is putting it together themselves, um, I don't know uh, if they'll be uh, giving us a lot of uh, like a lot of heads up for when the game is released or not I imagine so uh, I can't see why not I'm um, actually I follow them um, there's actually like a fan page that I've been following over Facebook for Bendy and the Dark Revival um, and also through Bendy and the Ink Machine uh, so hopefully they post something there that I can actually see the date of when it's going to be played but otherwise I have no idea so Oh, I'm excited though. This is so cool. Okay, so I want to go over some of the stuff that we saw. Now, if if we're just going to like go through and just kind of critique some of the things that we saw in the video, uh, kind of give us hints because I feel there's I feel there's like a lot of clues in our environment. Um, so at first, uh, the first picture that we see, the first scene, we have um, basically this, this small corridor hallway and up at the top is a couple of signs. It says Animation Alley. We see the uh, the top of like Bendy's head just in uh, on the sign there, uh, like a little extra artwork. Uh, we see Elevator to Exit and Employees Lockers. So these are some of the different areas that I'm assuming we're gonna be able to go around eventually in the game. So that's pretty cool. Uh, what else do we got? Um, we get a picture the next thing that we see is a picture of, and her name is Aubrey, or, uh, do I have that right? I think it's, isn't it odd? Is it Audrey? I think it's Audrey. I think, so we, we got a first picture of Audrey. Um, she is going to be our main character and who we actually play as. Uh, besides that, I really don't know much else about the character. I don't know her background story. I have no idea, but it looks like, for a look at it, she's half ink half human possibly like like we knew from the first game 
that um, the uh, a lot of people they just became out of the ink. They just uh, were basically came alive just out of the ink, and they were able to hold their shape. I feel like this lady hasn't fully been able to hold her shape just yet and is still like converting over to you uh, a humanoid form either that or it's like the complete opposite where she's like reverting back into in ink or something i have no idea but oh dude i'm so excited i i mean i have so many theories um but i can't really go off of anything yet i i also wonder why her eyes are glowing and apparently she has abilities too because we do see that we do see that in like uh, like this picture here. You can see her hand has kind of got that glowing energy in it. So she has some sort of abilities. Not quite sure just what, or not sure what just yet, but oh, I'm so psyched. And then we also got a look at like one of the, the enemies in our environment. And man, oh man, they stepped it up a bit. Like honestly, I remember the, okay, first of all, the, uh, the ink people that was in Bendy and the Ink Machine, they were freaky. Like, no joke, they were freaky. I found them to be more scary than Bendy. <laughs> and they weren't even that serious of a threat. Until, like, towards uh, that one big battle, then they became a threat. But, yeah, I, I mean, they are the ones that freak me out the most. And now, they have this character, which it looks like a female character, and she's got, uh... She's got hair unlike the other guys. They didn't have like any types of hair. But it looks like you can see her intestines too. So that's like, ooh. Um, so I'm, this is gonna be cool, dude. Um, another thing too, we also have Alice. We have Alice, dude. I, I loved Alice's character in the previous game. And I thought the voice that we're hearing in these trailers is Alice Angel's voice. Um, she's got a unique voice, and I, I'm pretty sure that is her voice. Um, but they were also making it seem like that's uh, Audrey's voice. And if that is the case, uh, they must be using the same voice actor. But it got me wondering if, like, Alice Angel is Audrey. It just got me wondering. I mean, maybe the two characters are linked somehow, but I have no idea. But, ah, oh, I'm psyched. If she comes back in the game, I'm so happy. Oh, I, I'm so happy. I will die a happy man. And then, um, uh, here we see it definitely coming out 2020. We got that. Um, and then this, uh, not that. This thing. This thing creeps me out. I don't understand what this is. All we know is it was beating, and it's a heart of some sort, but... Is it maybe heart of the ink machine or something? I, I don't know if the ink machine actually is going to come back into play. I don't know if it will. I mean, that'd be super cool because I feel like it kind of revolves around the ink machine and everything. And it has to because, like, we ended everything. Well, technically, we never did end everything. We were stuck in a loop. That's right. Well, anyways, um, being the ink machine technically is not destroyed. Um, this could be like what we're looking at as the inside of the ink machine, but the ink machine is pretty small until it became that huge building towards the end that we fought Bendy in. Um, maybe this is like the inside of that once more. So I don't know. This could be the heart of the ink machine or something else. I could be completely wrong. And then last, we have this guy. Let me get a better picture of him if I can. Yeah, it doesn't get much better than that. Oh, that's pretty good. All right, so this guy. Um, you'll have to share your thoughts about him. I see a right off hand, we can see a gear and a shoulder, a couple of boards, and then he's just ink. So he's going to be like some sort of boss, I'm guessing. Um, I don't think he's like any distinguishable character that we might come across exactly, but he possibly just could be like one of the enemies in the environment. Uh, just like Bora, the ink is kind of got all these parts and stuff in him. But yeah, so I think um, I, I really think he's gonna be a, just uh, just a straight enemy like some of the other guys that we ran into before. But I don't know yet. So I'm super psyched, dude. I am so psyched about this game. And then uh, last but not least, we have our new logo, which is kind of cool. 
Looks like it's uh, like, I don't know, drywall that's kind of broken off in some spots and things like that. That's so cool though. Oh dude, I am so excited. Uh, no joke, I can't wait to play this game. It looks so good. And I love the first game. Like playing through the first game was epic, dude. And um, I didn't actually play it when it came out in parts and pieces, but I actually got to play the full version for you guys all, all at once. So yeah, I, I really do like this game and I am so excited for this new one. So yeah, if you guys have like any other inside information about this, if you guys know of any other cool trailers or anything else you just like to share in general, feel free to leave it down in the comments below. Because I definitely will read it. I've been reading everything basically that everybody's written on my videos. So um, yeah, leave a comment down below and uh, I will respond to a couple of my opinions too and we'll see what we can figure out. Um, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, if you if you want me to play this game in the future, leave a like and subscribe to my channel so you can see it when I do. But um, yeah, with that, uh, I'm gonna end this episode here or this this video. It's technically not an episode of anything, but um, yeah, I just want to show you guys the trailer. I do want to do more game trailers on my channel um, to kind of help you guys to get psyched for some upcoming games that I will be doing. Um, I kind of want to do that because I find that. To get me psyched for a game so i figure i might start doing that here eventually but for now this was a good one to start with so anyways with that i'm gonna end this episode here so thank you so much for watching my name is not lad signing off later guys